Hey guys, how's it going? It's Squash. I'm just gonna make a little video today. Uh, <laughs> excuse my cough. I don't have the coronavirus. Just gonna make a little video today for a few of my buddies, uh, namely Pop Tart, Crawdad, Casino, Noob, a whole bunch of the guys that I stream with who also stream. Got a bit of a tip for you in OBS that'll help you when you co-stream. Multi-stream and Cadgar are great tools to use if you wanted to view more than one stream at the same exact time, and I got a few of those guys who use Cadgar specifically to look at multiple chats. There's an easier way that's less processor intensive and doesn't require any of your browsers being open. In fact, you can just do it right here in OBS. Let me go ahead and show you how. As you can see here in OBS, we have all of these docs open. That's what all of these are called here. Your chat over there, scenes, sources, scene transitions. I've got my activity feed, Twitch stats, and the mixer, which I'm actually going a little bit into the red there, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, but these are all docs. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add two more docs and they're going to be my buddy's chats so the first step is to go to the stream of whoever it is that you're going to be broadcasting with this time i'm going to go ahead and go with pop tart because i actually think he's live right now i've never used this electric gel what the fuck and uh wouldn't know he is live I'm gonna mute him really quick uh shout out pop tart twitch.tv forward slash a swift pop tart but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go down here to the chat settings and you're going to want to open up a pop out chat so if you're a moderator go to non-mod settings uh, and you would just open this up right here get a little window and you want to go ahead and copy Control c that url all right and the next step you're going to want to go to view docs and as you can see i've actually already added his chat as a as a custom doc but you just go to custom browser docs you add the name, so I've added this with Pop-Tarts chat right here, that's the name. And then the URL to their pop-out chat, you apply that. And then, when you go to your docs, you can just grab his chat right out of there. It will always default to light mode, you can always change that in here. It had me sign in the first time that I opened up one of these docs, but it hasn't had me sign in since. Um, so you might need your phone on you for two-factor authentication, but just switch on dark mode if that's your preference. And boom, you can see all those chats right there. This is really nice if you have like an ultra-wide monitor. I don't have one. But to be able to display all those chats, interact with your buddies' chats as well, that's kind of what we do. We're not super strict with each other about like muting your mic when you talk to your chat. We all know each other. We all know each other's audiences. And this is really, really nice when you have a lower end system where even having your browser open takes a toll on your processor. You don't have to have something like Cadgar open anymore. You can just look right in OBS, right where your preview is, your mixer, everything else that you'd want to see. And it'll be right there. That's all I had. Uh, so to Crawdad, Pop-Tart, Spruce, Nick, Small, Noob, all the other children's characters, yeah, you know, I made this for you, so use it if you want. Some of you guys have way beefier computers than me. You won't even need to use this, but I do think it's pretty nifty to be able to do this all from one window. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.